Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hello, guys. Um, my name's Connor, if you're new, and I like to watch stuff and uh, do things on YouTube. i uh, love for you to join. Uh, original link to the video, top of the description, right below that. Link to the Discord. Click on it. Send you right over there. Uh, this guy has some great footage of uh, different places in, in different countries. I've seen the, I believe, the Sweden and British ones for sure. I may have seen the French one, too. I don't know. Germany now. Let's get into it. Um, hold on. Um, und, undik, uh, my name is Connor. Okay, let's go. What's up, guys? My name is Ryan Shirley, and I want to show you some of my favorite places in the enchanting country of Germany. Und, undik shower gerne zalken auf YouTube on. Lass uns gehen. That. So here's my Germany top 10. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. Home to some of the Holy most crap. I've been to the out driven through the Alps, driven th through um from the uh, Netherlands down through Germany um, towards uh, Munich and then into Austria to Innsbruck to Switzerland then to France back to Heathrow and the most beautiful countries uh, Switzerland probably the most Switzerland Austria where I went and southern Bavaria is probably the most beautiful natural scenery I have ever seen in my life and man Holy stunning crap. landscapes. Look at from that. Endless castles, medieval towns straight out of a fairy tale, and the towering Bavarian Alps. Jeez. Germany has so much to offer. Let's start this video off in the magical village of Rottenburg. Now, when you go to Rottenburg, you'll feel like you're walking in a fantasy movie. It's one of the most preserved medieval old towns in all of Europe. During the Middle Ages, Rottenburg thrived as it was located at the crossroads of European trade routes. At the beginning of the 15th century, it rose to becoming the second largest city in all of Germany. But during the 17th century, Rottenburg faced adversities such as the Thirty Year War and the Bubonic Plague. Without much resources, Rottenburg's growth was halted, which aided in keeping the town preserved in its medieval state. Today, Rottenburg maintains its medieval charm, and it's been the inspiration for sets of Disney movies such as Pinocchio. If you go, you, you can check the out the famous Cloning Corner or witness the beautiful Christmas markets. I mean, just hard to beat the allure of this German village. From Rottenburg, beautiful. you can make the three hour drive to the beautiful city of Munich, also known as Bavaria's capital. Munich is located in the south of Germany. I I never, we never actually the Alps. During World went War II, into Munich. Munich. We were near over it. 70 air raids, but today the city is restored to its former beauty. One of the most popular spots is the Marienplatz Central Square. You'll find the new town hall with its stunning clock tower and historical figurines. After exploring Munich, we're going to head to the Alps to visit Berchtesgaden. Now I have to say this may be one of the most beautiful towns in all of Germany. It's just a two hours drive from Munich and it's nestled in the Bavarian Alps. One of my favorite features of the town is the Watzmann Mountain. It has these uniquely shaped peaks that tower over the town. It almost looks like someone took a bite out of it. There's so many beautiful churches around Berchtesgaden to explore, such as the Maria Gern Church, which offers a perfect view of the Watzmann Peaks. Just south of the town is where Hitler's former Eagle's Nest Retreat is located. It's now a restaurant with unbelievable views. The area <laughs> is full of stunning alpine lakes, such as now Hinter a restaurant. Sea, which offers just incredible views. You can also visit the Berchtesgaden National Park and explore all its hidden treasures. I mean, the whole area is just pure pure paradise. Now after we're going to visit Lake Constance. Now it's this massive lake that's not only in Germany but also borders Austria and Switzerland. I remember I was hiking in the mountains of Appenzell, Switzerland and I can see the lake from where I was at. I mean just huge. Now it's the second largest lake in all of Europe by volume. Now one scenic place on the lake is this town called Lindau. Now what makes it so unique is that it's this island. Now it was first mentioned by a monk in the 9th century and during medieval times it became quite the fortified city. 
today it's a popular place to visit i just love the harbor and just the fact that it's an island i mean just such a cool place another picturesque city on lake constance is mearsburg it's located right on the shores and it's a historical town like with beautiful colored houses I and mean, i just can't think of a better place to go during a warm german summer after we're going to visit the hon zalen castle now i have to say this is one of the most impressive castles in all of germany it sits perfectly on Mount Hohenzollern and can be seen from miles away. Hohenzollern is the last of three castles that was built upon this hill. It was completed in 1867 as a memorial to the Prussian royal family. Today, it's one of Germany's most visited castles, and I understand why. Another stunning castle so in Germany is the Kohem Castle. The original castle was built back in the 1100s, and it made its money by collecting shipping tools on passing ships down on the river. Sadly, it was destroyed in 16. 89 by the French, but in 1868, a wealthy businessman from Berlin decided to rebuild the castle ruins. Today, it stands perched on a hill overlooking the beautiful town of Kohem and the Marcel River. Another stunning castle just 30 minutes away is the Elts Castle. It's a popular Guys place so to get lucky. that classic Instagram picture. So if you're in the area, you gotta check both these castles out. You won't regret it. After, we're gonna visit the capital city of Berlin. Now today, Berlin is a thriving capital with a population of over 3.6 million people. It's an incredible city with a complicated history. Now, Berlin was first documented in the 13th century. During World War II, it was the headquarters of Hitler's Third Reich What's and became man? the most heavily bombed city in history. After the war, Berlin was divided into the East and West Berlin. With the end of the Cold War, East and West Berlin were finally reunited in 1990. So one of my favorite spots is the Radenberg Gate. It's this 18th century neoclassical monument that is Germany's national symbol of unity and peace. You can also check out the Berlin Wall Memorial to see remnants of the historical wall. After Berlin, we're gonna head over to Hamburg. Located in Northern Germany on the Elbe River, Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany after Berlin. Thanks that to tower? Access to on the is that a Elbe River, Hamburg Airport. is the second largest city in Germany after Berlin. Thanks no. to its access to the North Sea, Hamburg grew as the port city throughout the ages. Today is Europe's third largest port. I just love all the canals that run through the city. Hamburg is home to 2,500 bridges, making it the city with the highest number of bridges in Europe. It reminds me of modern day Venice. Whoa. A really impressive spot in the city is the Spikerstadt, it's the largest warehouse district in the world. Now, another beautiful spot in the city is the Alster Lakes. It's a set of two artificial lakes that are often full of sailboats during the summertime. Now, after Hamburg, we're going to head over to Frankfurt. Located in West Central Germany, Frankfurt is one of Europe's major financial hubs, and it's home to the European Central Bank. It's full of beautiful skyscrapers and kind of reminds me of American cities. Aside from its skyscrapers and financial district, Frankfurt is a beautiful historical town. One of the most popular places is Romerberg. It's a beautiful town square lined with colorful timber houses that will get your German vibes going. From Frankfurt, you can make the three-hour drive to the Black Forest. That looks like New England. Located right sort of. on the border of France. The Black Forest is a giant region famous for its dense vegetation, picturesque villages, and it's often associated with the Brothers Grimm fairy tales. Whenever I think of Germany, I just think of the Black Forest with its cuckoo clocks and just beautiful German towns. I mean, I can't think of a better place to road trip and experience the beauty of Southern Germany. It's just such a cool region. After, we're going to head to the beautiful town of Fussen. Now, located right at the foot of the Bavarian Alps, Fussen is a 700-year-old medieval city full of old world charm. Its streets are lined with cobblestones, and you feel like you're walking back in time as you explore I said it. this a few times, uh, seeing these videos about different countries and cities in different countries, and and how, for your, in Europe, for example, how you, you've had to build around centuries sometimes millennia of of existing roads or structures or buildings you know centuries of this stuff and so they, they seem like they all kind of have their own flair and spirit to them whereas american cities and highways uh, most american cities were, were sort of built with like efficiency in mind, you know, you, you built obviously much more recently than these cities. And so they just don't have that same um, uniqueness that uh, it seems like a lot of European cities have out of uh, having to work around history. I just love all the classical German houses. And I think it's so cool how the milky blue river Lech runs right next to the town. Wow. The crowning feature of Fussen is the high castle. 
and we just add so much character to the town. If you really want to go back in time, I mean, you just gotta give Fussin a visit. Now for our final destination, we're gonna visit the iconic Mushfunstein Castle. I have to say that it is the most beautiful castle. Castle in all Europe. It's what inspired Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle. I mean, really? it's just the perfect place for a princess. Who's the castle is the nestled at the very tip of southern Germany. The Schwanstein Castle is placed perfectly in the mountains with a phenomenal 360 view of the Bavarian Alps and the town below. The construction of the castle began in 1869. During World War II, the SS debated blowing up the castle to prevent it from falling into the enemy's hands, but thankfully, it never happened. To date, the castle receives over 1.4 million visitors a year, so it's definitely a tourist hotspot. I mean, I just can't get over the beauty of this castle. It's something straight out of a fairy Great tale. Great pictures. Well, that yeah. is it for my Germany top 10. I mean, there's just so many beautiful places that I couldn't cover, so we'll have to do a part two. Let me know where your favorite place is in Germany in the comments below. I also started a relaxation channel where I post hour-long films with calming music to bring some peace and nature in your life. Calming music. No, yeah, I know. Calming, calming music. That was a joke. Man, this guy... Uh, great places in Germany. Looks beautiful, but man, he does a great job. Amazing camera and, and, and picture quality. Just do, seems like it really does it justice. On Germany, you might like. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at Shirley.Films. It's Ryan, and we will see you later. Awesome channel. Great video. For sure, thumbs up. Uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna watch the Lord of the Rings, I think, video, Nerd of the Rings. Amazing. I, I, like I said, I, I've been to Germany, Belgium, Austria, I went to Liechtenstein, Switzerland, France, but especially when, when talking about Belgium, Nether or Germany, Switzerland, Austria, yeah, I've been to them. Innsbruck was probably my favorite city in Europe we, we spent, but it was more of a road trip and so we we didn't we we spent only a day maybe two in each place and so i i've visited these places i've been to these places but i've never really visited and if that makes sense you know what i mean awesome channel though great video see you guys next time